You see this here? This is the heart of the tree right here. It's probably a little smaller than a nickel right here at the base. And this is when a tree was just a little sapling. Yeah, started out as just a little tree and just kept getting fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter over time. That's what all these rings are here in the stump. Every ring is a year in its life. And this here looks like I'm seeing five, five rings right here. It probably was six years old when it was this size. And then it just kept growing in all these layers. Kind of cool. Yeah, it's the same thing on the other one. You don't often see that poking out like that. But that's where it all started, right there. <laughs> So it's time to take the last of the trees down. Gonna get them down, bucked up into firewood, get the brush hauled out into the woods. Then we're filing for the building permit. got some creatures wandering about here. This yellow furry caterpillar and this guy here with the dots on its back. These are both the tussock moth. Yep, pretty fancy. Ironically, the tussock moth is probably one of the least decorative moths out there. If one was on the tree, you'd probably never see it because it's just drab. It looks like tree bark very very plain but the caterpillars are the fanciest ones out there kind of funny that it's that way yep. pretty cool looking though huh they're the best dr best dressed critters in the forest <laughs> Alrighty, the debris field is cleaned up once again. Look at that. Yeah. The cherry trees are down. Yeah. Everything's cleaned up. Got quite an area now for gardening. And all the cherry wood is over there. We'll burn that next year. Yeah, so let me show you what we're going to do next. Right around here, give or take, will be the corner of the workshop. It's going to come 12 foot this way, 16 foot that way. And then the full width of the workshop, coming out another 12 feet, is going to be a shed roof. This is all going to be greenhouse. So I have workshop with a 10-12 pitch, storage upstairs, 
shed roof coming off on this side, this is all greenhouse. And on that end of it is going to be another extension, roughly 8 by 8 with a peaked roof coming off of the gable, which will be the chicken coop. Possibly on this end have a little shed roof so I can keep firewood for the workshop. What I want to do is I want to be able to allow the heat from the greenhouse into the workshop. Sometime the greenhouse is going to get really warm during the spring and in the fall and I want to be able to allow that heat into the workshop. But I also want to do that in reverse order and let the heat from the workshop into the greenhouse. I also want to let the heat from the workshop into the chicken coop. Temperatures get really cold. I want to be able to allow some heat into the chicken coop. And I don't want to run an extra heater in the greenhouse or the chicken coop. So if I have a fire in the workshop and I can just vent it into the two other structures, should be great. I've been in, at people's houses before where they had little greenhouse extensions and the heat that was generated in those greenhouses on a sunny winter day, they didn't even have the heat on in the house. So I want to utilize everything as much as possible. So I think this is going to work out really good. Yep. So the cherry trees are down, the pine trees are down, all the lumber, all the brush, everything has been cleaned up. I'm tired. I'm filthy. I'm ready for a glass of wine and a shower. Yeah, he stinks. I do. <laughs> hey, but I want to show you. Check this out. Remember when I had my friend's backhoe here and I was stumping out this area? And I go, ah, oh, mama's mad. I dug up her rose bush. You know, and I was careful. I didn't think I dug up any bushes. But you got to remember there was a lot of ferns and everything in here. But I didn't dig where the rose bush was, but it was gone. We're over here grading this out, and looky here. <laughs> the rose bush is still intact. Part of the rose bush. It's there. But it'll survive. It will. I never promised you a rose garden. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe a rose bush? Yeah. Here you go. There's your rose bush. <laughs> the other one's doing pretty good though. Check yeah. this out. This little rose bush is doing pretty good. Some pretty little roses on there. Yeah. And then, <laughs> this is that old uh, wash tub I found in the woods with no bottom. So Mama's got some oregano, some rosemary, some basil, some thyme, some more basil. Oh, I can smell it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll go over there and I'll show you what else we've been up to. When I'm reading the comments, I always see comments that say, Oh, JC, you're really tired. You're looking really tired, dude. Uh, you ought to take some time off and do something you want to do. I thought I was doing something I want to do. I've been loving this, man. Moving forward. The dream is unfolding. Sticking with the plan. Are you kidding me? This is awesome. I don't know. Some people just don't get it. So, I'm going to show you why I'm so tired. <laughs> so this is the logs from those four cherry trees. And I'll cut and split this stuff and then just leave it for next year. That's the splitter I bought last year. I'm going to do a review possibly next week on that. Okay. That thing has been sitting under a tarp since I used it last fall. Four pulls started right up. No complaints here, man. All right. There's the winter wood. Cut, split, stacked. Ah. I'm just going to go out and uh, get a little bit more and finish this stack. Finish up that stack. Bring this stack all the way across. We'll be done. Yeah. Nice stack of firewood there. I haven't measured everything to see how much is here. But there's a lot. I'm just going to get a little bit more, finish this stack across all the way to the top. Same with that stack there. Cover it all up. Be done. 
Now this is more wood than we need for the camp. It's probably almost twice as much as we will need for one winter in the camp. But if we can get that workshop up in the greenhouse and all of that, we're going to need more wood because we're going to keep a fire in that 24 hours a day. Man, you wonder why we're tired? Let me tell you, both Lori and I have been busting butt, but enjoying it, working together, just plugging along, work hard all day, have a glass or two of wine, big supper, go to bed tired. <laughs> That's what it's all about, man. Well, the room is coming together nicely, starting to get it furnished. We picked up this futon for free on Craigslist, and it's a really nice place to just chill out, you know. And th I've never seen a futon like this, but it's got these little stash places. And I put milk bones and stuff there for the kids. <laughs> yeah. So we got that, and then in this corner here, we picked up this little bistro set. Actually, this table, we found it at Tractor Supply on clearance. It was the last one, and we got it for 67 bucks. Yeah, it's like a little whiskey barrel thing here. Got a little stash place there for the kids' toys, you know. Yeah, it's made out of uh, fir, fir wood. And then we picked up these chairs. We got these chairs um online and uh, at the Walmart online and you pick them up in the store well they came where we had to assemble them but they went together great everything fit together really nice um, I'm really happy with them they're comfortable they swivel nice and the stain matches the table so it's fantastic yeah it is so nice to sit here have a beverage or eat supper and see wildlife out here. You know, we'll be sitting right here. We see uh, the bear walking around out there. We uh, occasionally see a deer out here, uh, moose passing by. It's just fantastic. Yeah, it's been really nice having this room. Now, some of you have seen in the past at the New York homestead where I had built that screen house down by the marsh and I had a chimney inside it and that was awesome so I'm doing the same thing here okay picked up this cast iron chimney and the pipe's going to go up through it's going to be a flange here in the ceiling the black pipe going up to that then from here up will be metal bestest insulated chimney pipe going up from there. Everybody loves to sit and watch a fire, okay? So this here, have a nice little fire. You could, you know, cook a few things if you want to. But really it's just to sit and enjoy a nice fire in a bug-free zone. Yeah. So I'm going to be chilling here on the futon, watching the fire going to be great. This is all going to be brick veneer here, but I doubt that any of this will get finished this year. I'm going to get this pipe up through the roof here real soon because I want to get the metal roof on this and I want to do all of that at the same time. But as far as the brickwork and a few other things, I doubt I'm going to do it this year because hunting season is right around the corner and we still got some winter prep to do. Yep, got the glass door here, got that taken care of. I still have to put a latch and a handle and all of that stuff on here, but this came out pretty good. This was, oh, okay, here we go. This was that old door that I showed you before that I had taken off of a job a long time ago. Lori got it sanded down, tongue oiled, built all the casing. And it's really nice. It's nice to be in there looking into this room because it's a real pretty room. Yeah. Got a lot done this year, huh? It's awesome. So this is where the exterior part is at this stage of the game. 
All the cedar is installed here. The trim for the roof is all stained. We're going to install that because that's going to be on before the chimney goes up through the roof. And then I got to put the flashing up there that goes over the metal roofing. And once that's there, then I can side all of that. And I'm going to build a louver for up there in the peak. And then all of the siding will be done. Yeah. This little deck is awesome. We sit out here all the time. That's the chimney pipe that's going to go for the chimney up through the roof. I picked that up from a good friend of mine. So it's come a long ways. And my little storage spot up here. I'm going to put the latch on here probably today. Yeah, there's quite a bit of storage space up there. Good usable dry storage. And the soffits. Everything is nice and tight. No insects, no critters, nothing. Nothing's going to access up there. Yeah, so these storage areas are secure. Everything is put in place. Got the little louvered vent up there, up uh, for that little attic. And all of this is done. I just got to get the flashing up there and finish it up. Put that piece of trim on and be done. Yeah. So that is where we are at. Next week, I'll probably do a review on the log splitter. So, that's it for now, folks. All the best to you, and God bless. Frankie and the boss out walking in the woods, living life happy and free. Tracks in the snow everywhere they go, there's a pokey way up in that tree. A beaver built a pond where they have some fun Taking life a day at a time Best friends until the end Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss